Hello and welcome back to Let's Play e -Train Odyssey 3 with me, Voltage McGammer. Let's go back into the forest. So, we are on several quests because I didn't do any of the quests for Floor 4, no, 3, when I was there. Other e -Train Goddess, ah, other e -Train Odyssey games have every stratum be 5 floors? I believe e -Train Odyssey 3 has it be 4 for stratum. So... That means we might get slightly more per floor, or everything's a little bit more dense. Let's just get in there. Let's just get in there. Let's go find those pale horses. You would think that pale horse would be pretty easy to see in the labyrinth, but do you know? As you walk through the dense forest, you encounter a guard who seems somewhat bored. The request you accept in search of a missing explorer springs to your mind. Since the guard's duty is patrolling the labyrinth, he may know something helpful. You can ask the guard about the Pale Horse members, or leave him be. Yeah, why not? You decide to speak to the guard about the members of the Pale Horse that went missing. Pale Horse? Oh, the guild. Has something happened? He told the guard about the request to find the missing members of the Pale Horse Guild. Some of the members are lost, you say? No, I don't know anything about that. How the Bertram Guild has always been friendly with Pale Horse? Try asking them! They just finished up a quest on their own, so you should find them at Butterfly Bistro. You think the guard and decide to return to your investigation. Alright, well... Go back to town again! A little bit of back and forth never hurt anybody. I mean, yeah, I'm taking a little bit of damage from these weak monsters on the first floor, but... Nothing I can't handle. Tiny drops of experience are always appreciated. Go back to the Bistro. And we gather information from the Bertram Guild. No horse is lost. This is a joke, right? Oh, uh, wow. They posted a request? Whoa, oh, you're right. So you're serious. <laughs> the pale horse is lost. No, that's rich. They're famous for playing it safe. They're usually too overcautious to make a move at all. That's ridiculous. Their motto is, those who control the campgrounds control the labyrinth. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to find something if you check that campground on the second floor. You'll look with that. I'll out there too once we get settled here. We'll find them alive yet. We'll prove that bistro girl wrong. Not everybody who goes into the labyrinth dies. A lot of people do. I do sometimes. But like, it's okay, we get better. these smelly fruits. Oh, it's night time. That's good. We're going to be going on the second floor. Those large bills, we can take them, but the caterpillars are a lot easier. So I have to work my way over to the campground. There is no shortcut over to the campground, so this is a bit of a trek no matter what. All right, if I beat these with ice, then I get more money. I, I kind of need the money. Hey, you got one. Good enough. Whoops. Almost walked right into an FOE. Oh, that would have been real bad. Uh, the problem's with moving at 500 miles an hour with the new speed. Uh, I don't want to risk getting too poisoned. Dang it. All right, just a little bit of poison damage to Jade. It's fine. It's fine. We can charge that off. Campground. Following the tip the member of Bertram Guild gave you, you come across a campground. Although the area is clear, you find traces of previous campers have a brief after a brief search. You discover a scrap of a journal in a pile of ash. The blue horse marking shows that this was a pale horse journal. The page says, It's about time we head down to the third floor. But caution precedes all. We look before we leap, and never leap if we don't like the looks. I believe the best thing we do when we reach the third floor is to find a safe place to strike camp. The ability to explore hinges on the ability to find a safe place to rest. You make sure to remember the details in your diary before you continue your search. Oh. She's not here anymore. I'm gonna leave the note there, but it's no longer relevant. 
So now I need to go down to the third floor to a campground. Uh, let's blast them. Dang. I was hoping I'd be able to do it without taking poison damage. It just never seems to line up my way. Let's heal that. Let's see, that makes everything better. Okay, I want to get the thing. Uh, let's see. You can hit it. Everybody else go over for the durian. Yes. Yes. Got the tail. It's good money. It's pretty reliable to get if you have a nice attack. Oh, there's that lynx again. Uh, honestly, the platypi are worse than the lynx. They're all bad. Uh, double dip poison on voltage. All right, all right, all right. I can do it. I can do it. We can probably just be finish this up with normal stuff. Okay. Fix that up. Poison's no joke. Down to the third floor. Alright, let's go towards that campground. I know where that is. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I know where that is, I say. Uh, Jade's technical points are a little bit low. This will be fine. As you make your way through the forest, you stop suddenly as you sense monsters. Look around, you discover monsters tearing at a backpack. The monsters have noticed you. They bare their fangs and attack with a vicious howl! Oh. Uh. Maybe I should use some limit skills. Yeah, let's use, uh. Yeah, let, let's kill Spotted Frog. I also need to not die, so. Try a bind there. Try blasting some ice here. I can't ice barrage. That's a real shame. I've wasted all my TP elsewhere. Can you do a limit? Yeah, charge tactics. Okay. With that, you should be able to start blasting those down. And one heavy shot there. Mine guards doing work. And I should be able to finish that guy off with this. Oh no, fungible! Not again! Uh, that's what I get for not healing with Zara, though. Uh, Facet still has some TP left. Oh! Good thing I defended! You defeat the monsters and decide to search through the, uh, the ransacked rucksack. That sure is a word. That sure is a combination of words there. Ransacked rucksack. You find an ID issued by a scientist sewn into the interior of the damaged pack. The ID has a blue horse logo on the pale horse guild on it. It seems they weren't missing on the third floor. This new clue gives you an ominous feeling, but you decide to continue on. Uh... Yeah, the campground. You open the doors, hoping for the worst hasn't happened, but the smell of blood is thick. The deep pools of blood, large enough to float firewood, hint at the atrocity that occurred. From the scattered remains, there is no mistaking that this is where Pale Horse set camp. You search the area, but all you find continues to prove that the worst took place here. There is little point in investigating further. You've done all that you could. You should return to the bar and report your sad news to a client awaiting you. Wow, that's sad. Well... I'm in bad shape. I do have plenty of uh, the threads, right? Nope, I have two. Alright, let's solve all I got. Ooh! Ooh, what's the name of that? Okay. The Panzer Tecker. 
A thrusting sword that transmits one's will. It's not as good as... It's not as good as the other one. Alright, but that's fine. That's fine. It's just a neat new sword. Don't worry about it. I still have a wire, so I don't need to buy a new thread. Uh, let's report that guild, uh, quest. The bond between guildmates. Yes, sir, girl, they're all dead. Ah, you are back! I have been waiting for you! The party from Pale Horse that went missing on the third floor came back the moment you left! Blood? What are you saying? No, they were all fine. Nobody was even wounded. Oh, wait. They did say they were attacked by monsters at their camp on the third floor. But they said they slaughtered them all and they roasted them for dinners. <laughs> the blood you saw must have been coming from the monsters, yes? Well, I am glad that you are back safe as well. Here is a reward. Take it! It is not good to be in the labyrinth for too long. People start to worry. A poison hammer. Neat. Well... I'm hurt. Really hurt. Mungible's dead. Let's fix that. It costs a lot of money, but it's worth it every time. Uh, we go into the labyrinth, we risk our lives, we make a bunch of money, and then we spend it all getting healed so we can do it again. Uh, the experience is worth it. The experience is worth it. Okay. What other missions do we got? Uh... That's in book, yeah? Okay, so I gotta get a Tanian. Oh, right, I have to go fishing for that. Uh, I have to bring a farmer in. And I have to go get a bee on the fourth floor. Well, I'm barely surviving the third floor, so I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. But I can definitely go fishing. I'm guessing that great big giant fish right there is the Tanian. So I probably don't need a lot of move. I can probably go with the cheapest thing and be able to get it. I definitely don't need the foremast. Yeah, this will be fine. We'll go really cheap. Let's get that big fish. Oh, it just moved right into me. You see the shadow of a Tanian below the waves. Launch a spear at the Tanian? You wounded the Tanian. Its movements are becoming noticeably slower. The Tanian is yours! You have successfully caught a Tanian, as requested by the Armor Road Fishing Committee. All you need to know now is return to the city and report back to the bar. Yeah, I can't make it to any other fish with the amount of move I got. Oh, I tried. Green goods required were a Tanian, which is worth a lot. That was worth it. Hey, I caught a fish. Welcome back! It is good to be seeing you once more. The fishing committee sent word to me. Well done, as always. I cannot believe you caught a Tanian. That makes you experts in the ways of fishing. I, I literally just left town. The way the fisher is long and arduous. Do not give up. Go on to greater fish glory. Come, here is a reward for this request. Come back any time, I mean, fishers. I... Thanks. But hey, I won't say no to two free threads. That's always appreciated. That saves a lot of money, actually. So... Now I can actually go down to the fourth floor. That's the only thing I have left. I mean, I could try to raise my farmers up a little bit. You know what? It's been a while since I took everybody out of the guild. This might be something I do off-screen in the future, but... Let's call set two. Okay, how are these guys looking? I said, how are these guys looking? Oh, they're all level 5 now. Okay, so level 5 is the upper limit of what I'm able to do here. I could... rest them, reset their skill points, and then go gathering with them, and then rest them again, and that would be the last time I'd be able to do something like that. I think it would be worth it. I think I need to get some stuff. Okay. Let's do that. So, organize... So, for the farmers, we rest. For fawns, we rest. This doesn't make them lose a thing if they are above that level, right? Yeah, yeah, they're still level 5. It's all good. Just making sure. Always worth it a check, right? Selkova can rest. 
Nicole can rest. And Altera can rest. Oh, there was also another thing that I wanted to do. Um, Fungible uh, saw the video, and he contacted me, and he said he wanted his appearance to be changed to that of another Arbalist. So I'm going to have three Arbalist appearances, but he wanted this guy. That's Fungible. That's fun, Fungible. Okay, now that they're resetting everything, let's use this to get ourselves new skills. With Harvestry, we can gather all of them. However, I think I want Bean as a primary one to be the person who watches out for the rest of the party. So she needs to be uh, use... What is the one that lets you walk without fighting? I know one of these lets you go to... That lets you save an Adrian thread. That can save on money. Safe stroll. There we go. Yeah, so Bean needs this. Okay, and with that, fawns can put their points into harvestry. Excellent. And we can take double crop. And we're going to do this with pretty much everybody else. And because I'm doing this for money, let's get some points in keen nose. Like so. What am I doing? Hold on. I can do this one more time. I can just use that arrow so I don't have to constantly go through like that. Okay, that's everybody. Okay, with this, we should be a little bit more likely to survive. You remember the request that you accepted at the bar. The farmers in our are holding a conference to develop a new breed of vegetable. The farmers in your party right now seem to be experienced enough to be of some help. You should go to the bar with a farmer when you have time. No! It could be even better! Okay. So running for the creatures on the first floor, that's not so bad. We should be able to outspeed them. Ah, deck. Okay, we're good. I'll use my TP when I'm on the next floor. Let's get some stuff. No, I don't want to risk fighting. Give me the stuff. I sure do have a lot of attempts to chop. How many inventory spaces do I even have? Not that many. Let's get seven more. I need this. I need the money. Let's get seven more, I say, then not counting. Okay, I was... I, that was the right amount. Cool. It all worked out. Okay, now that we're here, now, this is when Bean can use Safe Stroll. Is there any indicate? Okay, there's a bell in the upper left. That is how we indicate that we are strolling safely. And it fell off. That's fine. It probably would have been safer if I had gone around the other way. It would have been fewer steps. No. We're going to stay safe. How much inventory space do we have left? Ten. Dare I risk going down to the next floor? I think I dare. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the gathering point. Hold on. Let me look at our map. Let me look at the map. Okay, so if I do go down to the next floor... Uh, the gathering point is located... All the way in the bottom right. I definitely would not have enough safe stroll to be able to make it over there. Even if I did. Oh, that's quite the stroll. I wonder where the other gathering point is. Oh, that's rough.
Are we dead? Not yet. Does a combat reset as soon as I change the floor like that? Yes, it does. Okay. Bean should have just enough to save Stroll one more time. Okay. It's not going to last all the way there. But it might last long enough. Okay. We can mine. We can mine for 10 items worth. Okay, this will be worth it. New items. No, I can't risk the combat. I'm gonna die. I know that's how you get rare items. You realize with regret that your pack is full and you cannot hold any more items. Shame! I didn't get the rare item. But that's okay. It is time that we use one of our threads. We have plenty of threads. We can go back. Okay, and now I go to the Explorer's Guild, and I go to Organize, and I have them all rest again. That way they can get their points in combat study again, so that they can continue to level beyond this point. There's Bean, there's Fawns, there's Okova, there's Cole, and there's Altera. Okay. I go into custom again. Okay, so R no. What button is it? What button is it to change attack? Y that then that. Okay, Y that then that. Okay, the points were already spent. This sure is a combination of buttons. I don't want to mess it up, and that's why I'm going a little bit slow. This is important. They need their experience, but they're never going to fight. So this is how they do it. Okay. And with that organized, now I can go to formation and call other parties in. So let's call the others in. And now they can do the same. All the people who are passively getting stuff in the background need to be able to do this. So... Actually, yeah, they're lower level because I forgot to refresh their combat study. How about that? I also don't think they turned in a quest... Okay, did I ever spend the show points? Yep, okay. We'll do that a few more times. Like this. They need their experience. And this is how they're going to get it. Like so. Everybody do it. Everybody did. I believe there's one other person that I need to get into the party. Uh, no, not Majora. I need to get Formation Majora. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, and you finally get to raise more points of combat study. This is important. If you don't do this, then they don't level up. Okay. Now we call the main party back. Now we sell everything to the firm. How much money did they all make today? Plenty! Plenty of money! That's much better. I feel a lot better about buying things like nectar or tents or threads if I have this much money. I'm also so glad that nectars are so cheap in this game. <laughs> uh it's very nice and refreshing. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable about maybe not using the monk if I needed to. Uh, what do I have for items? Like, I feel like I have a lot of things just in my bag. Yeah, I have all sorts of medicine and stuff. I should probably store some of it. Hmm, I feel like the shock oil is going to be useful, but it's not been useful yet because I have the volt arrows and stuff, so I haven't been needing it. That sure is how it is. 
All right, and with that, What other quest do I have? Nope, that's all done. Oh, right, I have to prove myself there, and... Oh, I didn't turn that in. Oh, but that's the farmer one. I don't want to turn that in. I still have to go kill a bee. All right, next time on Nature and Odyssey with me, Voltage McGammer, we'll go try and kill a bee. Later, explorers.